What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to edit videos for free using WeVideo. Now before we begin, let's see if we can hit 300 likes, so don't forget to smash that like button, and with that being said, let's get started. So the reason I chose WeVideo as a free editing software is because it's really simple to use, and it's available for Mac and Windows and Chromebook. You can just go on WeVideo.com and access the software from there, but it's also very, very powerful, and I honestly fell in love with it because it's so simple to use, but you can get so much done with it. So once you go on WeVideo.com, what you want to do is sign up for an account by clicking the sign up button. And then we are going to make a free account, which gives you 5 gigabytes of storage. And uh, you can see the rest of the features over here. You can go premium and pro if you do enjoy the software a lot. But for now, we're going to be sticking with the free versions. We're going to click on get started. And then we're just going to put in our details over here. Okay, then we're going to click on sign up and it should sign us up. And you might get an email which you need to verify for your account. So just go to your email and make sure you click on the verify button. And once you're done, we can get started with WeVideo. So once you're on your dashboard, you're going to see a big green button that says create new video, which is what we're going to do to create a new video. So we're going to click on that and it's going to load the editor. Now over here, we are going to be using WeVideo for personal uses and for social media slash YouTube, since we're going to be making YouTube videos. And for this, you can choose whichever one you like. I'm just going to put a lot and click on start. Now we are going to start editing. So the first thing you wanna do is click on this main menu tab over here and make sure that you have timeline mode selected. If you have storyboard mode, just click on timeline mode. These are basically two ways that you can edit videos in WeVideo, but uh, timeline mode is a bit more advanced and it's a lot more professional and you can make much better videos with it. So the way timeline mode works is that everything is layered. So as you can see, you have multiple layers for the audio as well as the video, which allows you to edit a lot of different elements. So you can have multiple video elements in your final product and you can make lots of good content with it. Now, if you want to add another layer to your editor, you just click on this plus button over here and you can add another video track or an audio track and then you'd click OK. So the first thing you have to do to make your video is import all of your content. So to do that, you're going to click on upload media and here you can browse from your files and download or put in any of the videos that you want to edit. So here I'm going to go into videos and I will put in my intro, which I will find. So I'm going to go to Zyovo and just put in my intro. And once we get that, I'll put in some other clips as well and then show you how to edit everything all together. All right, so what I've done now is I've uploaded all the files I need to edit the video and to make that final product. So what I've done is I've uploaded my intro, I've uploaded some gameplay, I've uploaded a song, my commentary, as well as a picture to show you how everything works. Now, a really cool thing about WeVideo is the fact that you can actually click on upload more files and import files from other sources and social media websites like Facebook, Instagram, and Google Drive. So we're just going to wait for everything to upload and then I'll come back to you guys in a second. So while a couple of the clips are still loading up, I'm going to show you how to actually edit videos in the software. So once you upload media into the project folder, you're going to see all of the uploaded files over here where it says my media. So to preview the clips, all you have to do is click on them and click play over here. So as you can see, this is the intro and it looks pretty good. So to put it into the timeline, all you have to do is just drag it and I'm going to drag it onto the main layer. You can play it back to see if it's all good. And now you can actually edit it. So one of the things you can start off by doing is by actually just trimming the video. So to trim the video, all you have to do is just drag from the sides to trim it. And most of the editing takes place where you click this pencil button. So if you want to edit a clip, just click on the pencil button. And you have a whole bunch of options to edit your video. So I'll start playing it. I can actually tilt where the video is and tilt the orientation of it. I can flip the video horizontally or vertically and I can make it so that it fits the frame or the screen. And I can also change the scale of the video and zoom in and out. So I'm just gonna change that back to one. And over, over here on the audio tab, what I can do is change the audio level and also have a fade in and fade out for the audio so that the audio can fade in and fade out. Over here, I can add some animations to it. So I can add a fade in and a fade out. There's already a fade in this, but just to show you how it works, you just click on this check mark and to edit the fades, you would go on the advanced panel and here you can edit everything. And then here, what you can do is change the colors, the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, and the hue of the video. So as you can see, there are a lot of options for editing just one clip, and you're very open with what you can do with the video clip. And it's also really simple to use. So I can play this, and I can change the brightness if I wanted to. And most of it is self-explanatory. Over here, you can add some color keying. Now this is a premium feature, but basically what color keying does is say that you have a green screen, you can actually color key out green so that your green screen works and you can have a background, which is pretty sick. 
and then you can also change the speed of your video which is only available in premium accounts but that's everything you can do once you edit the clip that you like you can click on done editing now once you've edited all those options there's even more things you can do to your clip so you can actually click on the effects button over here and add some filters to it so kind of like instagram where you can add certain effects to make your video look nicer you can also go over here and you can add in graphics so i could add in you know these pre-made videos there's also solids frames and overlays you can add so say i wanted to add a frame to my video i could just drag that frame on top like so and i can pull it so that it matches up with the intro and if i was to play that back the intro would be in that frame so that's pretty cool now over here you can actually edit the audio as well so there's actually some songs that are already in we video now i don't know if they're free to use or not but if you're making a video for fun then you can use these songs there's also transitions you can add and these are very similar to the ones in camtasia which i like a lot so say i wanted to add you know a cross dissolve all you would do is drag that onto the same layer of the video clip like so and as you can see it did the transition now there's also other pattern and effects and there's just so many things you can do with the software and the final thing you can do is also add text and callouts so i can add text on top of the video so i can put it on top and edit that from there and to edit the text i would just click on the pencil tool where the text layer is and then i can add a fade in and a fade out i can change what the text says so i can make this say intro for example i can make the font something else there's a ton of fonts you can add and then i might make it bold and once you're done that you can also add fades to the text so have a fade in and a fade out maybe and if i was to play with that it fades in and fades out but most of it's just about experimenting and as you can see you can create some pretty cool things once you get the hang of the software so you can make videos just like i do with the transitions you can add in images like you would add the text in and then add fade in and fade outs to that you can import different layers of video and audio so now we're going to be editing the audio now editing the audio is pretty much the same thing as editing the video all you have to do is find the audio and drag the clip onto the timeline so i'm going to drag it where it says audio one and then the audio will actually load on the timeline and you can edit it from there so to edit the audio it's actually a lot simpler once again you just click on the pencil tool and there's not much editing you can do with audio you can change the audio level as well as add in fade in and fade outs to the audio so it can kind of smoothly transition into the video but that's about it for the video and audio editing so yeah those are pretty much all the main features of we video as you can see there's actually quite a bit but you can make some pretty intense videos with this software so i'm going to make a sample video just like how i make normal videos so usually what i do is i have my intro and i'm going to put that right here and to zoom out of the timeline i'm just going to drag this and then i'm going to add in the free to use call of duty gameplay and i'm going to mute it so i'm going to click edit over here go to audio and make sure the audio level is set to zero and then click the check mark and as you can see there's a little intro so i'm going to get rid of that by dragging until the gameplay begins like so and then i add a fade in and a fade out to my videos so to do that i'm going to transitions find the fade is there a fade is there a fade all right i think i have to go over here click on the pencil and i can add a fade in and a fade out from here and then after that i would edit and add in my audio so i'm going to back into my folder and just drag my audio to the audio timeline match it up with the video and see how that looks so as you can see the, the video actually ends after the audio so i want to match it up so i would click on the video i would actually click on the scissors over here to split the video so that it matches up perfectly and as you can see it's very very simple and then i would just delete that excess video and everything matches up now and then what i would do is add some background music so to do that i would just drag in a music clip and then make the audio of that lower and then i can add in some captions and pictures just by dragging them on top over here and that's pretty much how you make a video now once you're done that all you have to do is publish your video by clicking on publish over here and you can set a title for your video click set and then there's multiple ways you can actually publish it you can download it you can upload it straight to youtube or vimeo or move it to your google drive now the quality is 720p hd and there will be a watermark because this is the free version but once you're done all you do is click on publish video and your video will publish so that's about it for this video guys if you did enjoy it and if it did help you out be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out